Welcome to the scripting Wi-Fi pen testing tools in Python series at Pen Tester Academy. Now in this video, we will look at how to take all of this analysis we are getting from the air with SKP and put it into a database for further analysis. Now, why is this important? So if you've seen what we've done for the last couple of videos, We've made these interesting scripts which can tell us a lot about Wi-Fi clients and access points around. Uh, but the moment you kill the script, the only way to retain all of that data is to save it in a text file and then painfully have to go through it every single time you'd like to revisit that analysis. Now, as you can well imagine, this is okay if all you're doing is writing proof of concepts, but if you're on a pen test or doing anything serious, post analysis with just text data is extremely difficult. Now, this is where what if with just a little bit of code, we could insert all of this into a database and make it searchable. Now, of course, you have a choice of using heavy duty databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL, and all of that. Uh, personally, I prefer SQLite for this uh, specific exercise is simply because SQLite database files are self-contained, which can pretty much be shipped to, you know, the mothership where people can analyze it better, you know, look at what is happening, more correlation, etc. While a MySQL or a PostgreSQL database would require a lot of export and recreation on the other side. So check out SQLite. I'm just going to show you the most simple usage of SQLite using Python. Feel free to Google, go to SQLite site uh, and look at you know a ton of tutorials and sample code. So let's jump right in. Now here is what I'm going to do. Uh, if you recall, we created a Python script called clientprobes.py, right? Now, what did clientprobes do? Well, it searched the air and every single time a client sent out a probe request, it went ahead and told us about it. So let me just run this real quick just to jog everybody's memory. So here it is. Let me go ahead and start searching. And as you can clearly see, there was a ton of data, which is now mined. Now, what if I'd actually like to put this into a SQLite database and tag it with the location of the place? So let's say, you know, collected this at home, at office, at the airport, uh, you know, at DEF CON. So adding a, another additional column, which would be a human friendly location tagging and then all of this into a database so that I can search it later on. So step one is really to create the SQLite database and the tables which will hold all of this information. So let's do that. I'm using Kali version 108. So SQLite is already installed and the Python module for SQLite is SQLite 3, which we will look at in just a bit. So the first step, of course, is to create the SQLite database, right? So let me call this probes.db and we use SQLite 3, which is the utility to, you know, go ahead and work with SQLite databases, hit and enter. And now I'm going to create a table. So we have create table. Let me call this clients in a bracket. Now, the first thing we required was actually a row number. Now, I would warn that this should be automatically created for every entry and auto incremented. Now, in databases, as most of you who've ever created a database table know, this should be trivial to do. And it is in the case of SQLite. So let's say we call the row number ID, uh, the row name ID, I'm sorry, the column name ID, and 
we go ahead and definitely make this unique. So we say ID integer, let's make this the primary key. And then let's actually have it auto increment. So we have auto increment. Now the next column is going to be the location, right? So let me actually call this location. Now I'm going to make this a chair of size 100. And of course this cannot be null. After this, let me actually create a column for the MAC address. Now keep in mind in this case, I'm actually storing every single MAC along with the SSID, right? Which means for the same MAC, there are going to be multiple rows. You can of course play around later and have a more compact database schema. But for illustration purposes, I'd like to keep it simple even though some of the data being stored inside may be a bit redundant, right? So Mac ADDR, let's actually make this chair 50 as well. Again, cannot be a null. And then finally, we have the probed SSID. So let's call this probed SSID. And you know, this can be pretty long. So let's actually set this to text not null and there you go now if i do a dot tables I actually find clients if you do a dot schema you actually find the schema used to create clients fantastic now we can exit sqlite by hitting ctrl d just remember the name of the file probes.db right now here is what i'm going to do i'm going to copy client probes into client db.py client hyphen db.py so using this as the template we are now going to add the ability to go ahead and store this into a sqlite database okay so the first thing of course is to open the SQLite database. Now this is very, very simple, right? First, of course, you need the module in Python to work with SQLite, which is SQLite 3. Uh, on Kali Linux, this comes pre-installed, right? If not, you can install it. So let's say connection equals SQLite 3 dot connect. All we have to do is give the file name Let's take it as input sys.argv3. And of course, after all the sniffing and storage is over, we would like to close the connection. So connection.close, right here we go. Now, every single time a new client SSID pair is discovered, we would want to go ahead and store this in the database, right? So at this point, we'd like to call the database storage code. Let's say insert in DB. And of course, this is going to be uh, the client Mac and the client SSID, right? So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go ahead and say put in, I'm just thinking if I need to put, I'm just looking at the code real quick just to remind me of what I had really done in there. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to put in pkt.addr2 along with pkt.info, right? And I'm going to go up here and define insert in db mac ssid I've got the name right. Yes, insert in DB, Mac and SSID. Now, this should be very, very simple right now. 
So we're just going to do a connection dot execute and then we are going to put in our query here. Now if you recall databases 101, right? This is as simple as insert into clients, right? And let me quickly remind myself of the different table, uh, the different column names. Location Mac ADDR probed SSID. Okay. Location Mac ADDR probed SSID values. Again, let's make this parameterized. And then let's feed in the values. So first is location. Let's also take this as input. So sys.argv4 is what we pass in as the current location along with the Mac and the SSID. There we go. After this, we need to commit this right to the database. So connection dot commit. And this should actually go ahead and insert into database. Okay. Hmm. Just verifying that everything is fine. Insert into clients, vision map, SSID values. And that should pretty much be it. So now we can do a client hyphen db dot pi mon zero. Let's say we go to 2000 packets. Name of the file is going to be probes.db. It's what we gave the name, if you recall in here. And finally, the location, let's say, is going to be office. Right? Now, let me go ahead and try to search for stuff. Here goes, we searched for a bunch of stuff in here. Right, new stuff is getting added. Fantastic. Let me go ahead, kill this, open up the database, and do a select star from clients. Fantastic, right? Uh, in this case, of course, if you notice, we are not checking for, uh, you know, duplicate entries and stuff like that. So there seems to be a lot of re-entries happening. Right? So the exact place at which we would go ahead and put this in uh, would decide whether you know we can eliminate duplicates and all of that but i leave that as an exercise to you right you can go ahead and eliminate duplicate entries because every time you restart you're going to also find a lot of this happening right and you would go ahead and put that in here accordingly so in this case we are going ahead and putting this in at this location which probably isn't the best place to do it because we are recreating the client table again and again so i can just remove this from here and put it in here go ahead and delete from the database as well. So we have SQLite 3 probes.db we can just do a delete from clients. So now if you do a select star from clients actually see nothing exists in there. Now we can go back rerun our program 
we could start searching we found a bunch of places right around 49 of them hit a control C go back select star from clients and there you go right beautifully laid out uh, now we can go ahead and do different searches and whatnot on this database right fantastic now if you recall we deleted from the database but of course you know the id keeps auto incrementing that's the reason why we got the next one it pretty much won't start from one unless we drop the table entirely and recreate it but now you can already see the power uh, of what we have here right so now you could actually run queries so as an example if i'm interested in specific mac I could run a query saying select star from clients where mac addr equals paste this mac right uh, my mistake mac addr and there you go right now let's say you are looking for and right where location equals airport just in case this mac ever appeared at the airport and of course you would end up getting a false here right so this is how once you start collecting a lot of information from various locations of where you do the pen test you might be able to correlate different clients access points and all that now in the next video we will look at uh, how to probably use more detailed information from other tools and push them into the database so that we can work with them anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and if you're having fun at pen tester academy then please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the infosec community thank you